Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup using All G Beauty Makeup. I have a completely bare face right now. I'm not wearing any makeup, but I am wearing these Can C eye patches that are just gonna hydrate the skin around my eyes until I get to the concealer part. I'm going to pull my hair back and I'm gonna walk you through my makeup look step by step and I'm going to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, to start off, I'm gonna use the G Beauty Smoothing Lip Balm all over my lips to nourish me and we're gonna get into it. Um, so I generally have really oily skin, so on my complexion and on my eyes, I'm gonna be using the GBD Foundation Multi-Stick. So I start off by taking this Multi-Stick on my eyes and I also like to use it as a first base all over my skin. I'm wearing the shade Natural. Taking our contour and highlight brush, one of my favorite brushes, to smooth everything out as a first layer. So the Foundation Multi-Stick is a creamier consistency that gives me a smooth matte finish to my skin because I am oily, I am looking to mattify versus enhance the glow, but I will add a little bit of highlighter to this look. So before I start on anything else, I'm gonna start with my eyebrows using my G Beauty Precision Brow Pencil in shade Brunette. And I take this pencil and work it in small strokes throughout the shape of my eyebrow. And then I take the spoolie on the other end, brush up and through to give me a more uh, soft look. So using small strokes and I like to fill the ends of my brow and elongate them and then brush through. And then to give my hair more color because I haven't gotten a brow tint in quite a bit, um, I'm using the G Beauty High Brow. So this is our tinted brow gel and I'm using the shade Brunette Light, which is Technically one shade darker, uh, but I like to have more definition because my hairs tend to go pretty blonde. And I just brush that up and throughout my brow. So now that that's done, I also like to start by doing a few pulses of my lash curler before I get to my lashes. So just taking my lash curler and doing pulses, open and close, open and close. Open and close, open and close. And I like to set my mascara with the G Beauty Lash Primer. So this product is a pure lash conditioner. Um, it's going to thicken and lengthen my lashes before I apply my mascara. And I apply a really thick coat. This used to be a trick um, that Miriam, my mother, would tell me to do, and I never listened. And I recently started doing it, and I absolutely believe in my lash primer. It keeps my lashes very hydrated and it also helps the mascara do the best. Sorry about that. It keeps my mascara super thick. So that's the lash primer. And now um, for my eye makeup, I've been keeping it really neutral. I've just been um, keeping concealer or foundation stick on my eyelid. And then I use a tiny bit of our black felt tip liner just on the very corner of my eyelid to give me a bit of a wing. So I'm going to just apply that ever so thin just on the corner to give me a wing. Now this product is really thin, so it should be simple enough, but of course everything takes practice and I've been doing liner for years and years, so I would encourage you to just practice, use a Q-tip to clean any, up, any mistakes up. Now I'm gonna come in with our XLXL mascara, so it's got quite a thick wand, and I'm gonna give my lashes a very generous coat by going in upwards and downwards motions on my lashes. And if I get a little bit on the skin, I kind of don't mind that because it can kind of look a little bit like liner or shadow. And I'm just gonna do a really generous coat by going up and down on my lashes. 
You also want to keep your lashes upwards as opposed to going outwards because that's gonna keep your eyes looking really open um, and awake. When we go outwards, that's when it starts to look um, more cat eye where this is just gonna make my eye look really open. I might come back and do more mascara. And then if you do make any mistakes, you can just take the brush that we used originally and just clean that up. So now I'm gonna take off my eye patches, which are so cute. And I'm gonna go in with our concealer. So I'm going to use the shade Medium Peach. You guys have seen me talk about this. This is literally the last that I have of it. Um, and I take the concealer and I put it in some strategic places. So I go under my eye all the way out to my hairline. I go around my nose and down my laugh lines. I go around the corners of my mouth, above each eyebrow, and then down the center of my nose. And I'm just gonna do a touch under the brow bone. So basically what this does is this creates an openness to the face. And then when I take my bronzer, I go on the opposite areas, um, which create a natural contour. So I know that contour is something a lot of people wanna do, but it takes a lot of time and it's not something we need to do during the day necessarily. So I'm just gonna create a natural contour with my bronzer. So now I'm gonna take the same contour and highlight brush and I'm going to blend my concealer in. Can already see how much brighter everything is looking and now I'm going to come back with my foundation stick and just do an extra layer so for me um, it's my pores on my chin my cheek and my nose so I'm just going to do a little extra and that's just going to smooth out my skin the foundation stick is also good if you have any blemishes I have one right there and it's just gonna conceal because it matches the skin tone and we have a plethora of colors. So next up is bronzer and I'm gonna be using my G Beauty Golden Glow with our fan brush. So this is my favorite bronzer. Um, I take a generous amount on the fan brush and again, I'm gonna go on the opposite areas where I didn't put the concealer. So I go forehead, cheekbone, jawline and neck. And again, forehead, cheekbone, jawline, and neck. You can already see how much life that brings. Um, and if you want to, you can always use the Golden Glow in the crease um, as a shadow color. I'm just gonna do a little bit more mascara because mascara is all about the layers. And I like to make sure I get every single eyelash. Now I don't use any uh, mascara on the bottom. For me, it's not suited and I don't like the way it looks on me, but if it's something that you like, I definitely encourage you to do it. Now time for blush. So I'm going to be using our blush beam, which is our favorite um, color stick. And I'm going to take it generously up my cheekbone. And I also like to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose and just a touch above each eyebrow. I can't really tell you why I like doing this. I think that it gives me a bit of a sun-kissed um, effect on my skin. And I'm gonna blend it in with our mini Kabuki brush. I'm really liking this brush lately and it's so cute. Um, and I just work that in. You can see how easily it blends. And you can also use this color on your lips as a base. You can already see the life that this color gives me. And then I am gonna take a little bit of highlighter. So this is our O2 highlighting powder. As you can see, I love it so much. Um, and I'm gonna take the fan brush and just lightly dust this over top my cheekbones, a little on my forehead. Just give myself a little light dusting. You could also use this on your eyelid if you wanted to, to just brighten everything up. 
And now I'm gonna finish the look with my lips. So I talked to you guys a lot about my love of lip liner and lipstick. So I'm gonna be using Lady Godiva and a G Thing. This is what I've been wearing daily. And I'm pretty generous with my lip liner. So I really work it on the corners of the mouth. This is something I educate a lot of people on. because the corners of the mouth is actually where we want more fullness. When we go super full in the center, that's where it can start to look a bit faux. Um, so this really gives us a natural plum. And you can see already they look so much fuller. And now I'm gonna use a generous amount of a G thing. Blend that all together. Any last steps for me, just another pass of mascara. Totally a personal choice, I love mascara. And there you have it. This is my daily makeup look that you guys have been seeing on Instagram. That took me 11 minutes, I'm quite impressed with myself. Um, a few, little hiccups, but we're all good. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I would definitely suggest listening to it with the sound on so that you can follow how I do it step by step. Um, and I'll keep doing more and sharing my look with you guys. Thanks for watching.